Hi guys, thanks so much for watching Speaking Of. This week's interview is a great one. It's with Sean Jenkins, who is the founder of Benefit Focus, and now he's a co-founder of Three Together. So I got a chance to sit down and talk with him about his personal mission, his business ventures, and all kinds of different great things that go on in his life. And it was a really unique opportunity because I worked for Benefit Focus for eight and a half years, and it's not often that you get a chance to sit down with the founder of the company that you worked for and pick their brain. So that was a fun time, and I'm excited to share that with all of you. And then for the weekly update, I'm going to be talking about my cat. I have a cat, and she's a Manx, and so she has no tail. She just has this little nub. And at first, it looked so funny because you just don't see cats without tails that often. But over time, it's become one of the cutest cat butts that you could possibly imagine. But there is a big pro and a big con about that. So the good thing is you never have to worry about her tail getting stuck in anything. There are so many times that you close a bedroom door or a bathroom door or something like that. You never have to worry about her, her tail being stuck in something. She's always good. Once her butt's through the door, she's done. Safe. But the con you can't tell what's going on in her head. With most cats, you can look at their tail and you can tell by the way that they're shaking it or the position that it's in, what kind of a mood they're in. Not with our cat. You have no idea how she's feeling. She could look all innocent and cute and be purring and then she could bite you. But most of the time that this becomes a problem is at night when I call her midnight alter ego, the assassin. She, for some godforsaken reason, loves to jump up on my side of the bed out of nowhere and just do a sneak attack. And she doesn't ever hurt you. She just kind of nips at you. But then, you know, just is a total pain in the butt with it. And she does not do it to my husband. She's never done it to my husband. Only to me. So at first, he didn't even believe it was happening until he finally witnessed it. And he can only come up with a theory that perhaps she thinks that that's her side of the bed because it's where she sleeps during the day and she's mad that I'm in it at night. I don't know. But I know that if she had a tail, I'd at least be able to be ready with, with the squirt bottle of water and protect myself. But not that. She looks so sweet and cute with all those little sweet purrs. And then she attacks. So I don't know. Would I love another cat that doesn't have a tail? Sure, it's adorable. But... I don't know. I might need another one that has a tail just so I can figure out what's going on in its head. So with that, stay tuned for the interview with Sean this Thursday, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.